Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. So I wanna do some review on a couple derivatives. So we have these two derivatives here and the notation is fx this time. Um, this could also be y, so it could be y or fx, right? And we wanna take the derivative of this. Okay, so the way I start, before, before I do anything, when I see something that's raised to the exponent, I immediately want to rewrite it so it could be clear to me my next steps okay so five I can write how it is to the fourth right sine to the fourth I'm gonna put a big parenthesis here and I'm gonna bring that four all the way out and so what I'm left with is sine of the square root of X okay and another thing I'm gonna do so when I see exponents I want to take them out and also, when I see square roots, I wanna write them in a different form. So from the previous video, we know that square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half, right? So I'm gonna rewrite this again, and I'm gonna write five sine of, this is what I'm rewriting, as x to the 1 half, okay? And then a fourth. Now, from here, I feel comfortable starting because now I can see everything clear and when I take the derivatives, it's not gonna be hard to understand what's going on. So I can write y prime or I can write dy dx or I can write f prime of x. They all mean the same thing. So all these terms mean the same thing, derivative. So here I have something raised to the exponent. I gotta take care of that first. So I'm gonna bring that down. So that's gonna make a 20 here, four times five. I write everything on the inside and then I do 4 minus 1 so it's going to be 3 times now we do everything inside here where the exponent was it's a chain rule okay and so the derivative of sine is cosine so we're going to write cosine of x to the 1 half we leave everything alone Right? We rewrite um, just the derivative of sine with whatever angles inside of it. Okay, now that we did the derivative of sine, we have to do chain rule and do the derivative of the inside of, of cosine. And so now the derivative of this is going to be, you bring the one half down, x, and on top you do one half minus one. And that's it, there's nothing else to do chain root to. Okay, so now let's clean this up a little bit. So we got the derivative is equal to 20. Here we have sine of x to the one half raised to the third. We have a cosine of x to the one half. And here we can do the algebra here on the side. So it's one over two minus one which is just two over two, and that's gonna to be to the negative one half, okay? So here we're gonna have one half x to the negative one half, all right? And so just how we used this here to understand what x to the one half was, now we can understand that one over the square root of x is x to the negative one over two. Okay, so any number that's raised to the negative is goes underneath. So let's say you have a three to the negative one, that's one over three, okay? So x to the negative one half is just the square root of x, but on the bottom. And so that's what we have here. So we're gonna write um, everything here out a little more neatly. So we got 20 and we got a two, so that makes it 10. So we got 10 here. I can bring back this three to to be here. It doesn't matter, but just to just to show that we can rewrite it back to its original form, we have sine cubed of the square root of x. Right. This is the same thing as saying square root, and we have this term, which is cosine of the square root of x. Right. And then we got rid of the two with this and this term here is one over the square root of x, okay? 
we can't combine that with anything else. So this right here is gonna be our final answer. All right, and let's look at this function here. So if we take the derivative, right? We have no exponents, so we're good to go. And here we have the derivative of tangent, which is gonna be secant squared. So we write secant squared. We write everything on the inside. And then we do chain rule. So the, now the derivative of all that inside. And so the only thing that has a function of x is this term. This one goes to zero. So here we have three x and three minus one is two. Okay, so the derivative is we can bring this stuff to the front. We have three x squared secant squared x to the third minus one half. All right.